I have a generally sunny di distemeanor. Misdemeanor? Misdemeanor. generally sunny person <laughs> and, or at least that's what you guys see because I don't usually come to film in like a really tragic mood although I do have my tragic moods people often ask me how to be in the sunny delightful parts of life that I tend to show you guys on film on digital I feel like I have been blessed with a lot of opportunities to gain insight on how to be in that positive zone. It's far too much information for me to put in just this one video, but I'm working on a series about how to be positive, so if you have any specific questions, please leave them below and I'll try to address them in the series. But for now, I want to give you one of the tips that I feel like is underrated as far as staying positive and not, you know, just like drowning in the goop that happens to everyone. Basically, this is just the concept of momentum when it comes to a person's mood and how they receive the world. If that makes sense. So let's talk about it. If you are the type of person that wields a lot of power, then your momentum tends to accelerate really quickly, or this is what I found. So, like, I tend to get really excited really easily. I can start from zero and just become the most glowing, delightful, happiest, over the moon human being ever, as you've probably seen in a lot of my travel videos, especially when entering, I don't know, a hotel room or something like that. They just really explode me open with joy, but equally I'm really good at spiraling downward just as quickly. And so when I'm saying momentum, I mean like it starts from one thing and that builds and builds and builds and it's so much easier to go either in the direction of happy or in the direction of sad or in the direction of angry or whatever emotion you're sort of feeling. Knowing that helps because if you recognize those patterns and that the momentum that momentum happens with you, you can try to cut things off sooner or start turning that train before it gets totally off the tracks. If I was sort of stuck in a negative momentum spiral, if I was able to recognize I'm feeling bad and I'm feeling worse and I'm feeling worse and notice, oh, I'm, I'm adding to this momentum and starting to just spiral totally downward, then it'd be a little bit easier for me to consciously make an effort to stop allowing myself to think such bad things, stop allowing myself to be around people who might perpetuate that negativity or like add to the gossip I'm feeling or the negative thoughts or stop myself from watching a movie or reading a book that perpetuate that same negative thought process. Um, and these things, sometimes you just have to put your foot down and be really strict with yourself and stop doing those and start just forcing yourself to be in an environment that's happier, even if you're not really agreeing with it right at first, because it'll at the very least help reverse that momentum a little bit, and from there you'll feel a little bit better, and once you're a little bit better, you can get a little better, and then slowly the momentum will go in the other direction, and it's fantastic! <laughs> to me, when you're depressed or when you're down, any of those negative things, when you're in that direction, it can easily become sort of a downward spiral, and they can add on to each other, and you feel like you're just at the bottom of a well, and it's so hard to see the light and even harder to like find a way to get out. So having tools to help be positive and happy are really helpful in those moments when you realize you're at the bottom of this bucket and you want to get out. I feel like momentum is one of these like natural things that happens in life that we don't always talk about them in relating to staying happy and not depressed and it's so vital and helpful for me, so hopefully it's helpful for you too. So that's momentum. I don't know how clearly I spoke that, but if you're confused at all, please ask me below and I'm happy to answer, reiterate, be clearer. As I said, I'm working on a series where I'll be going further in depth on how to be positive and the tools that I've gained and whatever I have to share about them. So if you have any questions, anything specifically you'd like to hear about or see or specific questions about being positive, please leave them below and I would love to incorporate them and answer everything that I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I love you so much and I believe in you and you can be positive and happy and have a good time and it's okay when you're having bad times because that happens too and that's a beautiful part of life. You want the roller coaster. You just don't want to get stuck in the shitty part. You want to go up too. Okay, so have a great time. I love you. Bye! Travel story. Uh, the time my apartment got robbed in London. It's not a good one. Why did that come to my mind first? Just think of a positive one. The time I pooped myself in Thailand. How am I only thinking of bad ones? Mile High Club? 
Also, kind of a bad one. <laughs> I love you. That was the creepiest voice I've ever heard in my life.